It's something the state of South Carolina has not seen in nearly 300 years. Take a look at this video. That is a Pickens County resident feeding an elk, and this one here is in Pickens County as well. Several sightings there in Oconee and Pickens. That elk right They're here is on the huge. golf course at Lake Key. We posted this afternoon, like two hours They're ago. Massive animals, these elk. Our Katie Solt sat down with an elk expert, <laughs> which there are, <laughs> to find out why this is happening now. I thought it was pretty neat that that kind of animal be down here, and it, it, it's really unusual for them to come down this far. I don't go hunting out west or anything like people do to see the, the animals out there, so it's just kind of neat to see a, a large animal like that in our area. The last time there was a confirmed elk sighting in South Carolina, America wasn't even a country. The elk in the eastern United States were depleted. Uh, the last known recorded elk uh, that we know about in South Carolina was in 1737. The elk population was so heavily hunted, at one point there were only 100,000 elk left. Our great-great-grandparents were not very good conservationists. They were survivalists. They needed food. They needed clothing. Elk supplied both. But thanks to the creation of national parks, elk populations grew. Now, people across the upstate have managed to snap pictures of this young bull elk. Elk populations are common in North Carolina. So why, after nearly 300 years, are we finally seeing him in the Palmetto State? This being the breeding season, that this young bull was chased off by some of the um, larger bulls, and he has made his way this far uh, looking for females. Carl Walsh has seen elks up close during hunting trips out west, but he says residents here have some things to remember if they see the elk. Under South Carolina law, you cannot hunt, you cannot kill, you cannot even harass an elk. He also says you shouldn't feed the elk or even approach it. Uh, particularly to this time of the year, he could get very aggressive and with those uh, antlers that he have, he could inflict serious bodily harm. And if we want to see more elk in the upstate, Walsh says let them go so they can grow. In Pickens County, Katie Solt, 7 News. I mean, here's a warning maybe a lot of you don't need, but you never know. If you see an elk, don't walk right up to it and try to feed it. Snap a picture from a safe distance. And in fact, if you get a picture, share it with us on our Facebook page. We'd like to see it.